If you're someone who loves photography and videography, then I'm sure you know how crucial it can be to have a good monitoring system for your camera. Particularly if your screen on your own camera isn't the best and doesn't recreate the actual colours of your scene, or if you're using a particular type of lens that requires the camera to actually be quite a distance away, then having a remote control of that camera can be quite important and vital in your productivity. The Monitor Plus app, which I'm actually using right now to, with this video, can give you a better monitoring experience for your Sony camera without you having to spend loads on one of those expensive standalone monitors. It's available from the App Store and the Google Play Store for both Apple and Android devices. One of the good things about this app and what differentiates it from also being able to wirelessly connect like on the Sony Imaging Edge remote app is that depending on what Sony camera you have, you're able to connect to your mobile device via a wired USB connection. Now, I don't tend to use a wireless connection because I often find that this method of connection can be unreliable and laggy. While the wired connection via USB, either with a direct USB-C to USB-C cable, if you've got an Android or a USB-C ported device, or with a lightning to USB cable, and the appropriate USB cable if you've got a non-USB-C Apple device, like an iPhone or an iPad with a lightning slot. And connecting this way will give you better stability and lower latency compared to wirelessly connecting. There are two versions of this app. You've got the free version, which gives you basic access to live view, remote control, and histogram, which is going to be enough for most creators. And you've got the pro version, which gives you everything you get in the free version, plus additional features like view and sets, autofocus, area position, record and playback live view feeds, an Apple Watch extension, and advanced histogram, plus access to loads of other assist functions. Connecting to your camera is easy, and when you open up the app, you'll be greeted by this screen, and whether you decide to connect via wired or wirelessly, if the camera is ready to be connected, it will appear in this list, and all you need to do is enter, and it will connect you to the camera, which can be used in both portrait and in landscape. Before we have a look at the UI, one of the best things about having remote monitors like these is mainly that it allows you to control and adjust your camera all from your device. And because usually the phone is going to have a much better visually and often bigger screen, then you're gonna get a better view of your shot. Useful if you're shooting in difficult positions or need to see a larger view of your subject. Now let's take a closer look at the user interface, which is gonna look identical no matter which type of device you're using. The only difference will be whether you have the free or pro version of the app which if you do have the free version, then the UI is gonna be the same, but you'll notice some of those features are locked off from use. It's a very simple design and easy to use. The overlay of information doesn't get in the way and you've got everything that you're gonna need on the main screen. So here you can access the settings menu where you can change the way the autofocus behaves, whether you want it on the phone or via the camera itself, change the histogram style between Luma, RGB, red, green, and blue, depending on your style and whether you want to add to your own looks, which is a, probably a big plus for some people. You can also change the way you want to treat the camera, record the live feed from your phone as well, or instead of recording from the camera, save to the phone's camera roll. You can also change the picture profile to any of the camera's presets, plus a few other things. At the bottom, the app gives you the opportunity to upgrade to the pro version if you've not got that, and also gives you the current status of the camera device connection with the current displayed FPS, and a list of the capabilities of your connection. Now back to the main page, at the top there's the shooting parameters, which by clicking on each of them, gives you the ability to make changes that are dependent on what your camera and the attached lens can do. On the bottom row, you've got the on-screen histogram, the record button, the card slot status and capacity. Now, if you press on this section, you'll be able to see any of the saved pictures or clips here. And finally, and what makes this app really functional and worth it for me, is the variety of assist functions that you have access to. Sliding across them will reveal all of the others. Pressing each function will display it in the live view and long pressing the function will enter the specific function settings. So here the zebra function is enabled and long pressing will give you access to those customizations. And the same will happen with the rest. So as well as the zebra, you've got the false color, guide, peaking, waveform, LUTs, which if you've got your own LUTs, you can import them into the Monitor Plus app. The Inspector, the Squeeze, Focus Puller, Chroma Key, Overlay, a Locker, Change Orientation, whether that's Flip Horizontal or Vertical, and even Rotation. And there's the ability to zoom in and out. 
right at the end there is the ability to enable and disable the functions that you don't feel are necessary giving you the ability to customize the ui to make it work for you and have quick access to the assist functions that you need the most and when you've got everything ready and the settings just how you want them for your scene just simply press record whether on your device or if your device is an iphone you've got an apple watch this opens up the possibility to trigger recordings and monitorings directly from your watch so that's the monitor plus app with this app you're going to get a better monitoring experience and control of your camera so if you're someone who loves photography or videography then this app is definitely worth checking out especially because of those advanced wireless controls that you're getting out of your sony camera the remote monitoring giving you a larger view of your subject and hopefully helping you to get a better shot the amount of customization you get with this just to make sure that your feed looks just the way you want it to and those assist functions like histogram and waveforms that will help you get a better understanding of your shot and although the pro version might be seen as a premium price for an app this one-time purchase available to both ios and android devices is going to save you a lot of money compared to the standalone camera monitors giving you access to the same or near same advanced features that are usually only available on those dedicated hardware giving you the chance to enhance your video production workflow on a budget. There are drawbacks to this setup, like using the app can drain your device's battery quickly, particularly if you're using it as a remote monitor for an extended period. And although this is compatible with a lot of Sony cameras, I'll leave the link below to check if your camera is compatible. It's not compatible with all of them. Despite offering a lot of functionality, you're still going to not get that same level of full control as using the camera directly particularly for advanced functions like image stabilization and autofocus. But ultimately, it's up to you to see whether this app would suit your specific needs and shooting styles. For me personally, I'd much rather use this app than the limited Sony Imaging Edge remote app. And if you want to know why that is, particularly if you're using the app, then check out this video. And if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.